So today I wanted to talk about comedy and critique, and I believe they go hand in hand as I see it as the best way to do critique. You know, like you can have comedy or critique separate, of course, but I think it's the best way to do it. And as we all know, comedy is subjective. So I'm going to break down all the policies have to play on the industry and why think the best way to go about it because some people have kind of a negative outlook on both the critique of games and the comedy especially now in the games industry where people are more crucial than ever before where they're just at each other's throats like crazy in the games industry like you say something and like just about anything happens and it will be circulated around the entire internet within a couple of hours you know like gaming is is pretty crucial and people have such a strong negative outlook in looking for the bad things so much that we need a little comedy to ease it off and as some people believe you know some people get angry at like people using memes to talk like because some people see memes as a bad thing even though i've done a whole video on that before like my first discussion video which i'm only so proud of because i did it as more of a test for discussions but i broke down a lot of this sort of stuff about the memes where it's like memes are in like dictionary definition not on the internet's understanding of it actually means a common ideology or belief that is spread throughout society and the reason why i think that plays a large role in the games industry for better or for worse is because for instance if there's some controversial thing that's going on that is pretty bad that's going on in a small niche crowd for instance, like with Sony and their censorship stuff, like they're never going to get heard by Sony because Sony is simply not going to give a fuck. And it's just too small of a crowd. So the outcry is not going to be that loud. But with memes or something, like then you can reach a mainstream appeal. And good things about it is with comedy, instead of just bashing on a more hard and serious, which does allow for a deep discussion, yes. You can still have depth in your comedy, of course, but it allows a stress-free way for people to tackle their situations where they can be happy and kind of, I want to say, kind of positive, sort of. You know, like, it, it allows people to do it in a way that they're not, like, so at each other's throats and aggressive. I mean, the other options they really got is review bombing, you know, or or boycotting and both are bad for their own reasons review bombing leaves mixed signals because as as with something like god of war if i start bashing on it and talking shit then people are like well you haven't even bought and played the game yet Ooh, you can't bash on it if you haven't done that which is bullshit because word of mouth anyone sees an ad on tv and they can leave a thought and opinion on that which is perfectly fine but if i have a thought and opinion on a product that i haven't uh, played a gaming product that i haven't touched or played then people will lose their fucking minds. But if I were to go out and buy that and, and play through the whole thing just to leave a negative review and say the exact same thing because my opinion is not going to fucking change, I guarantee that, then people will just be like, then if you don't like it, why'd you buy it? So, you know, mixed signals. So, of course, when people just leave memes, it's, it's an easy way to put it out there it allows people that are not just people that are interested in the topic will come to it. Because if you, you're discussing it, discussing it properly in a discussion or something like that, where you want to delve deeper into the deep discussion and the deeper meanings and you know start a real conversation, which is good, you need a stepping stone like a meme, which will interest more people than just the small crowd that's actually interested in the topic of X, whatever that X may be. And memes allow that. Memes memes make it interesting to people that aren't just fucking interested in whatever niche game or crowd or whatever that you, you're trying to fight back against. So it does play a big role in it, I believe. And memes can have more depth to them, like the um DLC meme that went around because hey, uh, what was it? I hate everything said before, and I can understand why he dislikes memes so much, especially with half or what we see for memes but some of them can have depth like a a picture book is is something that has meaning to just the picture where it doesn't well some of them do have text but you know it's more something that you just look at and you interpret a message that's written prescribed in it and you know it it does have that message in it ultimately that it's like you know look at look at this bad thing but it still does that you want so it does have that message so and that message can get through 
to either the people or directly to the developers, publishers or whatever. And that will help them to realize, you know, this is what we're doing wrong when sales go down, if at all, or possibly then, you know, that's when they start looking for problems and then they'll see, oh, this is the problem. This is the thing they don't like. Here's what we do to fix it. You know, as you're watching and you're looking through it, then you have a fun laugh. But if you're really that interested in it, then it will start a deeper discussion because it is a, a topic starter kind of thing. Because it's just comedy, you know, memes, memes is such a wide thing. And I, I still get why people might dislike it, even at the end of this video, which I hope, you know, will at least add some insight to people, even if they disagree or whatever, that'll have learned something or, or understood. You know, it, it's just a, a different way to go about things. And with criticism, a lot of people, I know, like shun me for that sort of stuff. And it's like, ultimately, you still you know, getting coverage. So you can't really go out of your way and be like attacking people for um, leaving negative reviews or saying negative things, unless it's, it's straight up false, of course. They, they, they're misleading their audience saying one thing that's simply not true. And it's like, otherwise, you know, it's like you're still giving coverage of that thing and you want people to be talking about your product, even if it's for a bad, ultimately a bad reason it's still good for people to talk about your product because you don't want your product to be mediocre. You either want it to be really good, or really bad, because then if people talk about it, they remember it, and then people might even go out of their way to seek your product, even though it's really bad, just, you know, to, to enjoy it kind of ironically because, like, it is so bad or maybe to, to learn from it, like a, a sparring dev or something just looks at it and they're like, Okay, these things are bad. He, here's what I should avoid doing or whatever. So you always want coverage for your game. And if you're going to be attacking everyone that's leaving negative reviews or whatever, then you're simply going to have less coverage for your game, which is a really bad move. And you don't want that. <laughs> but yeah, especially with niche crowds that don't get heard, like at all, completely. It's quite frustrating that like they'll never be heard. So resorting to memes is something that I like to do when I am a part of that crowd where it's like, you know, it's just, I don't have to stress out or worry or get angry about it. I can just have a laugh, you know, like laugh it off with my friends and still get the message across to someone of the discussion, but without actually needing to go through. Cause like I, I do a lot in my time, so I don't have a lot of time to dedicate to things. I just got to keep going through all, all kinds of different other stuff so it's like i i'm not willing to commit a lot of time to someone that's just simply not going to get through to people so yeah it, it, it is another thing to do just laugh between your friends and just spread it around wherever because memes are kind of the stepping stone to start the conversation which is like one of the minimalistic, like lowbrow, fucking kind of dumbed down, watered down kind of thing to the actual discussion, which I can see is why someone like um, I hate everything hates them, but they do have play a role in what I hate everything would like to see, or someone like him. But yeah, that's what I think about the topic. Um, thoughts in the comments, and you know, our fifty subs giveaway to the people that are. Visible subscribers, a suicide guy on Steam by Stinky. I'll work out a kink star later. Now there's a pretty meme. Exquisite.